Apollo to Patricia, world kickboxing female in Uganda, in Africa, the best in the world. I'm actually right now preparing for the tournament which is going to be in Cairo on the 23rd of October this very month. I'm uh, African title champion, international, intercontinental and the world champion. I've been dominating the field for over eight years and undefeated. I'm the first in the world rankings and uh, I've never been defeated. So I'm preparing for the title, this fight for between me and the lady from Argentina. And I think it's going to be a very, very well-developed fight. And uh, she has been training because according to the post she has been posting, she has been preparing for me for two years. So, and for me during those two years, I was actually on holidays. I've just resumed the training, but I bet she shouldn't underestimate a black African. That's one thing I can assure her. I eat what she doesn't eat. So for that, I'm ready and I'm training, I'm preparing, and also I'm preparing a small team, which in future will represent, actually. You know, the problem we have in the sport right now is that the sport has been, uh, how do you call it, centralized. So I'm trying to decentralize the sport, taking it out beyond boundaries. I have, if you remember, in 2019, I went to Teso. I did actually a rally of kickboxing throughout many, many districts in Teso and of which I came up with a lot of fighters. When we went for uh, for the Nationals, my team actually became the second. It missed just by one point. Moving time. Come on, go, 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 go. come on. This team I'm training, it's not about how did I come to it, to get it. First of all, one, there's an old kickbo I mean, kickboxer here, he's called Owara Priston, and there is another one, uh, Actually, these other girls, one of the girls, Tony Josephine, I have been when I went for Eastern Region for nomination of regionals, I got her there and I saw the talent she has. And she's training from my club the other side. And then this other girl, she's also just, I'm grooming them. So sometimes it's not about what, but you see the will of people when they come in and they say that I also want to do this. And the motivational speaking the speeches you always give. So people find it that they found, they found out that actually this sport can do you something. First of all, it gives you good health conditions and it raises the awareness of a girl child not only thinking about marriage and also seeing beyond. Another thing is um, uh, they looked at uh, the way I travel. So they say that maybe one time one day when we join the sport we can travel. Lucky enough, yeah, only that maybe if the ministry disappoints, that's when they'll... <laughs> Again, now go back, use your height. Go! Again! Go! I think there are more than that. I think there are more than 100. Because there are many. If you talk of Teso, put your uh, Palisa, put your Serere, put your Maido, put Kalaki, put uh, Soroti, put uh, Kapele Biong, put his, I think uh, Ngora, put where. So if you put all those girls together, there are more than that. Only that sometimes you, we have, um, how do you call it, unisex kind of uh, event whereby you have both male and female. You choose the best among the best in order to compete to represent a district. And so far we got them. That's why we were ever, even able to get a team that was able to represent Eastern region, that is Teso region in Kampala. It takes courage to stand up for your country, to stand up for yourself, to show them that we are also coming up. Not just me saying that girls work is in the kitchen, but even us ourselves, we can stand as women. So I would like to say thank you to you all for this opportunity. Keep on praying for us, keep on praying for our champion. She has a fight. And we believe that we will make our country proud, our Uganda, for God and my country. Push, throw, right, double, double. Like kickboxing, I assure you, it's not. When you look at football, when you look at any other, there's no sport discipline in Uganda where athletes are not crying. Talk about the Olympians. The Olympians are also crying, just like us. Talk about basketballers. Talk about footballers. I don't know much about the Uganda cranes, but at least I know about the she cranes. I know about this. I was once myself, I was a footballer. What made me drop it, that's another story. But there's a lot that is lacking, a lot that is missing in backing up the female sport and the male sport in our country a lot and that alone is what is actually how do you call it, suppresses the sport or actually that is what is what is making our country go back i don't know how many miles you see i was very much confused and surprised at the same time and i don't know how to term it 
which other one when i saw a team that went for olympics we don't even have quick walkers we don't even have these suji shorts and what we don't have javelers we don't have what but all the things we used to do them at school what happened in order to take the country the other side when we took the boxers they brought zero medals why lack of morale when you you kill the will of a fighter when you kill the will of anybody trying to pursue something the rest of the things are just imaginary and that one thing is what the country has killed in all sportsmen the will to do the right thing at the right time you know the, the advantages of training with male males is one the impact and the speed they have is actually twice the speed of a lady so the power they have they're actually like a driving force be behind a lady. When you try to follow and engage with a man, it is the different when you're engaging with a lady. And I started this when actually I was in East, East Coast Gym. I was training, doing boxing, but the, my coach was always telling me to do sparring with male. And whenever they are female, they were like, no, go and do it with male. And also the power of men in sparring is different from the power of female. So by the time you go to the ring, the impact of a punch of a lady is less compared to the man. So that getting you to be prepared ahead by five times than your opponent. So for that, that's why you see even these guys, I'm grooming them the same way I was groomed. Prepare with male sex, then groom them on that same area where how I was groomed, and then put them out there, the world to see what each and, each and everyone has. Because you know, some of them I told them that don't follow this sport just because you see me doing it. You never know, you might hit a rock. But there's so many times I felt like I should give up. So many times, I just said, enough is enough. Take for instance, when the federations were fighting, these people are fighting because of this and this, and the people who are suffering, affected, as, is us, the fighters. We don't mind what the federation has, what they get, what they do, what we don't mind. Only what we care is, we have our rights to play. How many tournaments do we have in a year? Uh, where do we go? How much are we earning? And that's why I call upon those people who have a hand to actually speak to the president or speak to some responsible organizations to help pay upcoming uh, athletes. Because they only want to see us when we are there. Then they start saying, okay, we give you a house, we give you this. But at this stage, nobody cares about us. So that I think is the worst thing that hurts me each and every day. Looking at struggling athletes at the end of the day, someone struggles to the end and says, I'm done. And I don't want to see that in a team. Right, African, go. Go, here, go, here. The world is not all about men. And the world is not all about you saying, I can't do this or I can do the other. It, it actually unifies everyone and it brings the inner character of a person and it grooms the inner mind of a human being. That's why you see for me, I look at whenever I'm doing kickboxing, it makes me forget the pain I have. It makes me look at even if no matter how big the situation I'm going through, it makes me look at it as lighter. One, when I'm doing kickboxing, it's the same thing, or boxing. When they give me the punch, it's just at that very second that I feel like, ow, oh, I've received it. But within no time, it has vanished. So it makes me to look at every situation in my life in the same way. So when you look at most of the females, female nowadays, the moment a girl, I think clocks 12, the girl's parents are looking for marriage. But what has brought to that? It's lack of support from the government to groom up these people. And the lack of, uh, how do you call it, uh, parents, directing channeling their children apart from they you know not every child has the knowledge to go and sit and say one plus one equals to two no if you look at many countries i don't want to give example because i might mention one which i don't know which i can I, actually i can make error but one many countries many children are groomed according to what he will what he wants not what the parent wants they can take you to school, but if you say, for me, this is not what I want, they direct you to, to engineering or something else. But for us, the system of Uganda teaching me about photosynthesis that I have no idea at the end of the day. How long the river is, how this, to remember things, not how things are done. You get that? Instead of teaching me how to make shoes, clothing, what people use, you're teaching me about the, long, the, the length of the river. Who was the president before I was born? That is, I think, a little bit.
So for that, I assure you that this team are moving is, is well prepared. And only what I'm asking for is that the Federation, the National Council, the Ministry helps us to clear our names so that we can get the visa and we get out, we start the journey. Because already fighters are losing morale. Because you take this letter, take the other, and go to this ministry, go the other side. They have been toasted up and down to the point even me, myself, I'm reaching to the point of saying, I think I better just give up. So, but you know, as fighters, we don't give up. We try our best and see how we can move forward. So on the 23rd of October, I'm coming for you, Andrea Sellers. Be ready, of course I'm ready. So see you soon.